Hi, this is Ms. Torres, and today we are going to work on Go Math Chapter 11, Lesson 4. So, so far we've learned in our measurement chapter about length and height. Today we are going to focus on weight. How much something weighs in comparison to another object. So, we are going to compare the weight of two different objects. The words that we use when we compare weight are heavier than and lighter than. So we have objects that are heavy and objects that are light. So before we start our Go Math lesson, we have a little activity. Um, on the left side of your screen, you will see two objects. You will see a car and a cute dog. So when we compare objects weight, right, let's picture ourselves picking up a car and picking up a dog. If we were to pick up a car and a dog, which one would be heavier? Which one would be heavier? First of all, can we even pick up a car? No way. We can try to pick up a dog. Dogs are still pretty heavy too, but which object is heavier? heavier, a car or a dog. Right, the car is much more heavier than the dog. We could also say that the dog is lighter than a car. Here's another example. On the right, we have two objects. What objects do you see? We have a shoe, and we have a brick. Now, if we were to pick up a brick and pick up a shoe, which one would be lighter? Which object would be the lighter object? Hmm. Well, if I were to pick up a shoe and pick up a brick, the shoe would be much lighter than the brick. Bricks are pretty heavy. So we could say that the brick is heavier than the shoe. The words heavier and lighter are what we're going to use today to compare the weights of two objects. So let's get started. In this picture, we see a boy carrying two objects. Now, if you want to try and weigh each object, one thing that you can do is put each object in one hand. In one hand, it looks like he has a book. And in another hand, it looks like he has a little block. So I want you to look at the picture. Compare the weights of the two objects, the book and the block. Use the words heavier than, lighter than, or about the same weight to describe the weights. So when you're looking at the picture, usually when you hold those two objects in your hand, do you see how one hand is dropping lower than the other hand? Usually that means the object is heavier when it's dropping lower than the other. So let's trace the circle around the lighter object. Which object do you think is lighter, the book or the block? The block is definitely lighter than the book. We can see his hand is even a little bit higher. Now let's mark an X on the heavier object, the book or the block. The book is the heavier object. So we can also tell because his hand is dropping a little lower because it's heavier than the block. Okay, let's move on. We are going to continue comparing objects. These are objects that you might find in a classroom. If you have these objects at home, you can also hold the object in your hand to compare the weight. But for now, we're going to do the best we can to imagine that we are holding these objects in our hands. We can start with number one. If you have a pair of scissors, I want you to hold them in one hand. 
you can do your left hand. Then you can find objects like a paper clip, a book, and a rubber band in your right hand. And you're going to find which object is heavier than the scissors. Hmm, well if we have scissors in one hand, which object will be heavier than scissors? A paper clip, a book, or a rubber band? Well, I can tell you if I'm holding scissors in one hand, the book will definitely be heavier than the scissors. So I'm going to circle the book because the book is heavier than the scissors. Feel free to always pause this video if you need time to find the objects in your house. You can also use similar replacements if you need some help. We're moving on to number two. If you have any kind of journal or notebook, I want you to hold that in your left hand. Remember, you can have your palms facing flat and facing up while you're holding the object on top of your hand. Now, we're still going to look for the heavier object. If we have a notebook in our left hand and we put either a backpack, a small cube, or a pencil in our right hand, which object will be heavier than a notebook? Well, let's think of a pencil first. If we have a notebook in one hand and a pencil in the other, is a pencil really heavier than a notebook? No, it's not. Do you think a small cube would be heavier than a notebook? I don't think so. What about a backpack? If you were to hold a notebook in one hand and a backpack in another, would the backpack be heavier than the notebook? I definitely think so. So I'm going to circle the backpack because the backpack is heavier than the notebook. Okay, now that we've been talking about heavier objects, we are going to move on to finding lighter objects. So for number three, in the first box, we have a marker. So if you have any marker at home that you'd like to go grab, go ahead and do that. Don't forget to press pause. Okay, so in my left hand, I'm going to have a marker. Now, I need to find an object that is lighter than a marker. Do you think if I held a notebook in my hand that it would be lighter than a marker? I don't think so. Do you think a bottle of paint would be lighter than a marker? No, a bottle of paint is definitely heavier than a marker. What about a paper clip? If I were to have a marker in my left hand and a paper clip in my right hand, would the paper clip be lighter than the marker? Yes, it would be. Paper clips are very light. So if I were to have a marker and a paper clip, the hand with the marker is definitely heavier and the hand with the paper clip is lighter. So we can say that the paper clip is lighter than the marker. Now we have our last row. The first box we have an eraser. Do you have an eraser? If you do, hold it in your left hand. Okay, now we need to find an object that is lighter than the eraser. Hmm. Erasers are pretty light to begin with, so this might be tricky, but I know you can do it. So we have a little counter, a stapler, and tape. So if we had an eraser in one hand, which object do you think will be lighter than the eraser? The counter, the stapler, or the tape? Hmm, what do you think? Yes, the counter. The counter will be much lighter than the eraser. Okay, let's move on. Now it's time for a scavenger hunt. Are you ready? So this activity will require you to look around your house for an object. Now you will see on my screen 
a No David book right here. Do you see the No David book? We are going to find objects to compare to this book. Are you ready for the first activity? Okay, number one. Around your house or your apartment, I want you to go look for an object that is lighter than a book. Don't forget to pause the video before you walk away. Now, I want you to go around your house or your apartment and look for an object that is lighter than a book. Go ahead and grab it and bring it back. Ready and go. Okay, did you find your object? Now, hmm, is your object lighter than a book? The object that I found that was lighter than a book is a pair of scissors. The scissors are lighter than the No David book. What object did you find that's lighter than the No David book? Great job. Now, let's go to round two. Two, I want you to go around your house or your apartment and find an object that is heavier than the book. Now make sure to be careful that you don't grab something too heavy that you can't carry. But I want you to try to go around your house or apartment and find an object that is heavier than this No David book. Hmm, what do you think? I will give you some time to do that. Ready? Go. Did you find something? If it's too heavy, don't worry about it. You can just tell me what the object is. All right. The object that I found that was heavier than a book was a backpack. A backpack is heavier than a book, especially when that backpack is full. What object did you find that's heavier than the No David book? Great job. Okay, let's move on to our last activity. Now, this is two activities. You can choose one or the other, or you can do both. The first activity, we're going to be drawing two objects. And in the next activity, you are going to be going around your house and finding two objects. The first activity here with drawing. If you like to draw, this would be a great activity. You can get a paper and a pencil, and you're going to draw two objects and compare their weights. So draw to show what you know about comparing the weights of two objects. Now I'm going to look in my refrigerator to find two objects to compare the weights. One thing I found in my refrigerator is an apple. So I'm going to draw an apple. I'm doing the best that I can to draw my apple. I have a red apple. You can draw an object that you found. You give the apple a little stem. So here is my apple. Now in my fridge, I also found my favorite drink. Now I found a jug of orange juice. So I'm going to draw a jug of orange juice and I'm just going to do the best that I can. You can go ahead and draw the other object that you found. Don't forget, if you need more time, you can always pause the video. I have my two objects that I grabbed out of my refrigerator, an apple and a jug of orange juice. 
Now, if I were to hold my jug of orange juice on one hand and an apple on the other hand, how could I compare the weights? Which one is heavier? Which one is lighter? Well, when I held one in each hand, the jug of orange juice was heavier than the apple. Or you could say that the apple was lighter than the jug of orange juice. So after you draw your two objects, I want you to compare them. Which one is heavier or which one is lighter? Now, you could also go around your house and compare the weights of two objects using the words heavier and lighter. This is going to be great practice as you learn to compare the weights of different objects. Thank you for watching.